Welcome to the Harbour Club, one of Malta's Michelin Guide recommended restaurants and another amazing spot that we had the opportunity to check out. Located in Valletta, Malta's capital, this restaurant is located by the water and just below the upper Baraka Gardens. Similar to our other video in the Groton Tavern, the Harbour Club is also located in a cave of sorts. However, this cave was actually used to store ice from hundreds of years ago when it was shipped from Sicily to Malta. They offer a 7 course tasting menu, or the option to go of 2 to 3 courses for a slightly cheaper price. We opted for the 2 to 3 courses as we had some dishes that we really wanted to try. For drinks, we decided to try the passion fruit martini, accompanied by an Aperol spritz, which is a must have when in Europe. Then, we were treated to a delicious bread service and informed about a unique aspect of this restaurant. Each meal is accompanied by a card explaining one historical site or part of Malta, and each is unique to the meal. For starters, we had a delicious pumpkin gnocchi with pork ragu, along with a beef tartare prepared with beetroot, and lastly the Jerusalem artichoke risotto. The pumpkin gnocchi was our personal favorite and was an amazing combination of flavors, but all starters were delicious. When it came to mains, we had to try out the rabbit, which is a Maltese classic. It was our first time trying rabbit and it did not disappoint. We also ordered the fresh catch of the day, which you can't go wrong with when in the Mediterranean. Now onto the best part, dessert. We went for the chocolate tart, which was really good, but the main highlight was the donut. The donut required us to order it early on in the meal so that it would have time to be prepared, and it came accompanied by caramel sauce and a banana. Lastly, we finished off a great meal with the after dinner snack, where we had licorice and chocolate pieces. Overall, this dining experience was super unique. We loved the idea of the historical cards and also the history behind the place. Make sure to eat here if you visit Malta.